Assalamu alaikum my name is Muhammad Shamasi as you are watching my youtube channel in this video we will see that how we can find various thermodynamic properties or you can say estimate various thermodynamic properties in Aspen plus so let's start first of all we will start with the component I will take as a component uh, that is water in this case after uh, pressing next uh, this component has been added I can uh, press this next button after uh, pressing this next button uh, we have to select a property package so in case of water uh, ideal uh, package is very good and effective so i had uh, select the base method as ideal after this i can press this run as well as i can press this next button so i can i will press this run button now we can see that results are mm, available now i will go to this pure after selecting this pure I can see that my uh, thermodynamic property has already been selected so I will select this thermodynamic property and here I will select the property which I want to estimate. Uh, now uh, we will go to the uh, pro question problem that what we are uh, finding uh, I have to find the thermodynamic properties like specific heat capacity enthalpy fugacity uh, gives free energy and internal energy at uh, 60 and uh, 100 degrees using Aspen, ice, Aspen plus of water so I have not written water so uh, we are finding uh, uh, these all thermodynamic thermodynamic properties of water so I will go back here the first was uh, so this is specific heat capacity so I will select this specific heat capacity of liquid so here uh, I have to because I am having only two temperatures so I will select this list of values uh, first value I am having as uh, 60 so I will write here as 60 and my other value is 100 I want to find I want to estimate the specific heat uh, capacity at these two temperatures you can write any other temperatures uh, according uh, to you or according to the problem you are having after this I will press enter and now I will uh, click this button uh, to uh, move this uh, to move the water to the selected components after this I will click this run button or run analysis I can also press this next I can also press the run so I will just uh, press this run analysis after pressing uh, the run button uh, results are available to us so I will press this re uh, result so you can see that at 60 at 100 degrees uh, and pressure 1.01325 bar which is 101.325 kilo bar or 1 atm it has calculated the uh, uh, specific heat capacity so its unit is uh, uh, calorie per uh, gram per Kelvin so I can uh, change this units to joule so we have founded the uh, specific heat capacity the 1600 uh, if you change this temperature uh, to 25 or you will find you will put here as 25 degree you will find around about 4200 or 4180 that is the uh, specific heat capacity of water at 25 degrees you will find this uh, when you will change the input variables so now I will again go to the uh, pure analysis here I can see that all the uh, my other variables are been uh, have been given like it is uh, uh, you will see that internal energy is u this is the internal energy of a pure component you can find uh, um so because i am having a mass so um you will collect you will find the uh, internal energy uh, by uh, by selecting this and you can find the uh, vapor pressure or bubbling point pressure and uh, other uh, gives energy by just by this so i had uh, shown you that how we can find the specific heat capacity and uh, that is a thermodynamic thermodynamic property in aspen ices you can find all the other uh, thermodynamic properties uh, like uh, specific heat capacity enthalpy fugacity gives free energy internal energy at all these temperatures by uh, just selecting uh, go to this property and select the uh, property you want to find so it it will be just if i uh, continue to find all the uh, properties it, this is just uh, this will be just a repetition of the thing and the video will get uh, too long so 
I had uh, described you the way that how you can find uh, thermodynamic properties in Aspen Plus. I hope you like the video. Inshallah, meet you in another in another video. Assalamualaikum.